For those of you that are looking forward to Blue Protocol, then today is a very good day. The game itself, of course, launches globally later on this year. And while admittedly, most of the stuff we've seen recently has been more so for Japan, even when it comes down to the tests, today there is actually something that everyone can get involved in. They released a benchmark test. Now, ordinarily, a benchmark test might not sound that exciting because it's basically just a tool used to work out if your PC can actually run the game. However, baked into this benchmark test is also the full character creator and also a photo mode, or at least a photo mode of sorts. So if you guys want to work out whether your PC can run this game and also mess around with the character creator, then let's go through the details. If you guys do enjoy this, then of course a like would be super appreciated and be sure to keep it locked because there will be plenty of Blue Protocol videos on the channel as we get closer to launch. But by the time being, let's go through the details. So again, first things first, there is now a benchmark test available for anyone to download. We'll put a link to this in the description box down below. It is 5.3 gigabytes. You simply download it and you install it. You do not need to log in. You don't need an account, you don't have to sort of bypass some sort of IP so that you can play in a different region, you simply download it, install it and run it. The benchmark of course is running in the background, you can of course see some different gameplay shots playing and of course some different performance. Interestingly, for those of you guys wondering, my specs are at the bottom of the screen and this was actually run on a laptop, so I did seem to get some pretty good performance on this machine. But for those of you that want to take a look at some of the other stuff inside the benchmark, admittedly it is in Japanese, while anyone can install it, the only language option is Japanese, but if you have any trouble just open up Google Translate on your phone and you can work your way through the buttons. But basically you go in, jump in and you can create your character, there are a variety of different slots, these will of course be able to carry over to the full game if you so wish, but you can also create them fresh when the game comes out. Diving into it, there are of course a range of different options. If you guys want to see all the available character creation options, we'll have a separate video for that on the channel. But once you go through, mess around with some different features, create the character you like, you then have the option to go into the character viewer. In this screen, you'll find your character in a blank background. And in there, you can then zoom in, take a look at them. You can actually try on different costumes for the different classes. So you can get a feel for what they'll look like in various different armor sets. You can take on and off different pieces of armor. You can change the lighting conditions and you can also take Take photos, plus you have some different emotes to play around with. However, if you then go on to make a few other characters, there is also a party viewer, which allows you to take a look at all your characters you've created together in a variety of pre-made scenarios. You can switch between them, various different environments, you can change the lighting conditions, you can switch around who is in the foreground, who's in the background, and basically change different positions to again, create nice scenarios, and you can then take photos. So admittedly, you don't get to actually play the game using the benchmark, you won't get to run around, test out combat. You do at least get to create your character, you get to mess around with the different emotes, some of the different options and see what they would look like in game. So at least in the short term, it kind of scratches that itch. So again, if you guys want to try this out for yourself, the link to the benchmark will be in the description box down below. You simply need to download it, install it and have some fun. For the time being, that's pretty much it. Again, if you guys do want to check out all the character creation options, we'll also have that over on the channel. But for the time being, thank you very much for watching. If you missed some of our recent videos, you can check out one of these ones on screen. Otherwise, keep it locked for plenty more.